Hey guys, welcome to a new video. We're gonna be testing out the all new Acer Predator Triton 500 SE. This is a very thin and powerful gaming laptop, so I really can't wait to put it to the test. Thank you so much to Adorama for sponsoring this video, as well as hooking me up with this laptop in celebration of Intel Gamer Days happening August 25th through September 4th. So be sure to check out Adorama's site for some fresh content, exclusive deals, special giveaways, and so much more. There will be a link in the description so you can check out this laptop as well as some other items that I'm gonna be talking about. But let's just get into it and see what the all new Acer Predator Triton 500 can do. So I went ahead and unboxed it and the unboxing experience was actually quite nice. I really love the reflective Predator logo. It does obviously come with the laptop as well as the charging brick. This does operate on Windows 11. We have the Intel Core i7. This is the i7-12700H. This does have the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti. We do have a 16 inch LCD display. This is a 16 to 10 ratio. This does have 16 gigs of memory as well as a two terabytes of solid state drive capacity. We have a fingerprint reader as well as one HDMI output as well as two USB 3.2 type A and two USB 3.2 type C ports. We also do have an ethernet port as well as an SD card reader slot. Now the weight of this is 5.29 pounds, but considering this has a 3080 Ti, a 16 inch display, I really don't think that's too bad. This does have a 240 Hertz refresh rate with three millisecond response time, as well as Nvidia G-Sync. So let's take a look at the Predator Sense. This is gonna give you kind of more understanding and more control over your gaming laptop. We can keep an eye on the CPU, the GPU, and just the overall system. I have the wave going on for the keyboard, but you can pick all different colors. You can do different effects. You can also keep it static. Here we have the modes. Now we can put it in the quiet mode. We have the default mode. We have the extreme mode and we have the turbo mode. Now the turbo mode is obviously gonna be if you're doing some intense things, you're gaming, you're streaming. There's also a button on the keyboard which will let you quickly activate turbo mode. So let's push it. Also tells you up there that turbo mode is on. Now obviously that is loud, but that's because we've got the fans really going. I think it's time that we game. Let's go ahead and open up Fall Guys. It's been a minute since I played Fall Guys, but we're gonna try. Go, get out of my way. Go, go, go. Okay, we might actually make it. We might be the first people. Oh no, we still have a long way to go before we do that. We might be the first to qualify. We're the first to qualify. We're the first to qualify. My first game of Fall Guys on this gaming laptop, we're the first to qualify. Wait. I can't tell who it is. No, no! Okay. We got cocky. I've been wanting to play Elden Ring for quite some time and I know that this is a pretty graphics intensive game. So I thought, let's give it a try, shall we? What's this, a little tree? I will say the graphics look very, very good. So I'm actually quite impressed with the graphics. You gonna get a little slice? Let's get some action. Bam! Okay, now the real problem is gonna come when we have the big enemies and the big battles. I'm in baby battle mode. I'm in learning mode, but this game is really fun so far. It's holding up, the graphics look great. Hey, how do I get up there to you? I guess I don't. Oh, he stabbed me. Dude. Got you, dude. Got you. I know I've just been playing a little bit, but I was playing this earlier and the graphics are really, really holding up. We've got the temperature, these are in Celsius. So the GPU is at 71, the CPU 80, and the system overall at 69 in Celsius. So not too bad. The real test is going to be streaming, at least for me. So I'm gonna set this up as I would, not so much as for a mobile streaming, but I'm actually going to connect it to my gaming BenQ Mobius monitor. So that way that I can monitor Streamlabs as well as play. This does have a port for HDMI, so I'm gonna go ahead set this up and we're gonna test out a real-life stream. Let's do it 
I've attached an HDMI to my BenQ 32 inch Mobius monitor. Now I also have a dongle going on here because I have connected a microphone as well as a webcam. Yes, this does have a 1080p webcam, but I've been using this new Insta360 Link camera. It's really cool because there's so many different modes. It can track you, it's 4K. Uh, so I just want like a little bit higher quality of a camera because I'm being a little extra for the stream setup. Anybody here? Um, hi Hannah, first person here. Hey guys, for those of you who are joining me, this is a <laughs> test stream. We're actually filming a video. So I'm actually streaming and gaming entirely from a laptop. So curious to see. Oh, I've gone the wrong way, I've gone the wrong way. Come on, keep jumping, keep jumping. Keep jumping. Might not make it, you guys. I fell, I fell, no! I'm gonna need to uh, start over. All right, here we go. Get out of my way. Get out! I haven't encountered, okay, this is just, okay, well this is, well this is infuriating. This test stream is just gonna be me failing. Yes! Yes! Oh, we're cruising now! Wee! Oh my gosh, we're going so, we're speeding through these. Speed boost. Oh, I qualified. I was the second person to qualify. Okay, so obviously you guys saw that that stream went very, very well. I was actually extremely impressed. It was more than capable of doing it and it was really great that I was also able to connect to an external display because streaming from one tiny laptop without having another display would make it really, really difficult. Now maybe you are a streamer and a content creator. Now I edit everything on Final Cut, so Final Cut does not work on PC, so I won't be editing any video, but with a 3080 Ti and with two terabytes of storage on here, you should be absolutely fine to be doing any type of 4k editing content but right now I'm actually going to test what Photoshop is like and edit a photo all right so here we have a picture I took for a thumbnail so I'm just going to do a little editing let's do a little contrast new gaming laptop it's going very well uh, pretty impressed with how well Photoshop runs as well Thank you so much to Adorama for sponsoring this video. If you guys are interested in checking out the Acer Predator Triton 500 SE, there's gonna be a link in the description. Intel Gamer Days is happening on August 25th through September 4th. Be sure to check out Adorama for exclusive deals and enter to win giveaways. There's gonna be a lot of really exciting stuff happening. So if you are in the market for a new gaming PC or a gaming laptop, now is your chance. You don't wanna miss out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you again next time for a new video. Bye.